and welcome to my channel. My name's Michelle and I have chronic fatigue. I have chronic fatigue bad. I can get tired, boom, just like that, just like that. With, out of the blue, I could be in the middle of something and then all of a sudden it hits. And when it hits, it's like, I don't know, I'll get cold inside, like bone, my bones inside hurt. And it's like, I'm cold and I'm tired. And it's like, I need to just go to bed right now. Right now, I just need to go to bed. I have a heating blanket on my bed, so I'll go turn that on and, and lay down for a while. And sometimes I could take a nap and then get up and I'm okay. Sometimes I'm in bed for the rest of the day. It all just, it all depends on how, you know, how I'm feeling. Things that trigger my chronic fatigue, I know the weather. The weather is, that'll, that'll trigger my chronic fatigue like right now. If it's cold and rainy outside, forget it. Forget it. I, I already know that I'm going to get tired in the day. It doesn't matter how much I sleep at night. If it's cold and rainy, forget it. Now, if it's cold and rainy and I even go somewhere, as soon as I get wet, it hits. You know, if, if it's raining and it's cold, I get wet, I get chilled, I get tired. And then, then it hits. And it's like, I can't, I can't motivate myself. My brain fog sets in. And it's, it's bad. It, it just gets bad. Something else that will trigger my chronic fatigue is humidity. If I go out in the humid weather, forget it. I'm triggered. My chronic fatigue, my fibromyalgia is just triggered. And I already know it. I know I've stayed in I have a, my home is has central air thank goodness and if I go outside even to get the mail that'll trigger it so I've missed some of my grandson's baseball games and different activities if it's humid outside I can't go I just stay in the house and just keep all the, <laughs> the windows and the doors shut something else that bothers me when my chronic fatigue and my fibromyalgia hit is the sunlight. I have room darkening curtains that I I just close all my curtains and shut my bedroom door and close the curtains in the living room and wherever else the light is coming in from and I like it completely dark because just the light alone just I can't I can't tolerate the light or noise. When my chronic fatigue or fibromyalgia is triggered noise like the radio in the car I can't I can't have the radio on I can't have the TV on and whatever I have has to be on quietly you know no the yelling and screaming with the kids I can't that just causes anxiety right away if my fibromyalgia is like starting so I can't take the noise, I can't take the humidity, or the cold, or I can't close. Let's talk about my clothes. I have changed my outfit daily. There's been times that I'll put on a shirt, take it off. Put on another shirt, take it off. Put on another shirt, take it off. Until I find the one that fits comfortably and feels good. I try to buy all soft clothing because I know I can't do polyester things just because of the feel of the fabric on my skin. It just, it, it just, I can't explain. It just feels weird. It feels weird. Or if a shirt fits like a three quarter length sleeves, I can't do. I can't do a tight things. So you'll normally see me in looser tops because. If the clothes are touching my skin, that irritates me. Believe it or not, that irritates me. I have some pants with elastic. I have capris like with elastic around the waistband or around the, the ankle, the closure, the bottom leg closure. Sometimes I can't wear those just because I can't stand that tightness around my leg, just around my leg alone. So I usually, I try real, so when I go shopping, it's like, I can't have this, I can't have that, I can't do this, I can't do that, it, they feel weird, you know, so just clothes alone will trigger it. 
anxiety triggers it. If I get like anxiety over, it doesn't matter what it is, that'll immediately trigger it. So I have to try, I try all the, just keep things calm. And I've learned to accept things I don't like and just kind of roll them off because I know that if anxiety hits, I'll be in bed. My kids all know this too. So they all, tr they all try not to argue back and forth. We try not to have family arguments. We try our hardest because they know that'll trigger mom and it'll put her in bed. Or if it's something, I know my daughter, sometimes my daughter doesn't tell me some things because she thinks it might trigger my anxiety. So they're they're very thoughtful on that account. Even my husband, we, know, we don't argue. We never argue. My husband's really good to me. And it's nice having a relationship with somebody where there's no arguing. No, we don't argue. We don't fight. We don't nothing. Knock on wood. So, and he knows that that would trigger my anxiety and, and it causes me pain. It, it caught anxiety causes me pain. And it's hard to get somebody to understand that. But it's like, you know, it, it's pain from the inside out. So they're all real cautious with me telling me things that, that might trigger my anxiety. So I'm glad my family understands. I'm really, really glad my family understands this. Another trigger I have, if somebody touches me and I don't know it's coming, if somebody comes up from behind and grabs my shoulders or touches my arm or hits me on the leg or does something that would make me jump, that would trigger it right away. That, that triggers the chronic fatigue, that triggers the fibromyalgia, and it causes me pain. It doesn't matter how hard the bump was, if... I didn't know it was coming because you know sometimes you know if someone's gonna whack you on the shoulder or you know walk up and just kind of bump your arm or something but if I don't know it's coming that and I jump it'll trigger it right away I'll have to go take a muscle relaxer and neurotin and the whole thing just to calm all of that down so my my husband's real careful with me now you know you know normally your husband would come up behind you and give you a hug and while you're doing the dishes and all that romantic stuff well I can't do that I can't do that I have to I have to know that he's gonna hug me or it's it's gonna hurt it'll hurt me because I you know it, I'm thankful my husband understands that riding on a bumpy road in a car if I'm in a car and I'm riding on a bumpy road I, I can't tolerate that. I can't do it. it. It'll trigger my fibromyalgia like right now. I don't, it's something with the bumps. Now when my husband and I, when I ride his four wheeler with him, cause once in a while, I don't do it all the time. I'll get on the back of his four wheeler with him because that's something I love doing. I actually have my motorcycle license. I love riding. So he's real cautious with me. He'll go slower and cause he knows. He knows it'll, he doesn't want me hurting at all. So, but these are just a few things that would trigger my fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, pain. I don't know what triggers you. If it's something different, comment below. Let me know. All right, if you like my video, give me a like, subscribe, and come back for more. Who knows what I'm going to film next. Bye.